Hello, hello, hello. My name is Troy White, and I'm a financial advisor, portfolio manager, etc. I help people with their finances. Um, today's lesson, I want to um, dive into a theme, and I'm using an example that I'm going to continuously come back to over and over and over to get this point across to you. The theme uh, that I want to discuss today, or I want to impart some information, is based on this concept that planning is the most important principle in your life. Planning is the most important principle in your life. But to bring it home to, I'm going to start here. What would you do if money was not an issue and failure was not possible? So in, um, in this course, uh, faith and financial planning, um, I am discussing investments, uh, financial planning, uh, and, uh, budgeting and economics from the standpoint of how it relates to your faith whatever your faith is, uh, not necessarily your religion, but we do touch on religious aspects. So what I'm saying to you is if your God, your spiritual, um, uh, the spiritual advisor that you follow knocked on your door and informed you that anything that you want to accomplish in your life is possible and they gave you the spiritual guarantee. So this is God, Jesus, Muhammad, whomever, whoever you follow, Buddha, whatever, knocked on your door and said, I guarantee you will not fail at anything that you really desire, anything you want to do. Of course, keep it positive, right? My question to you is, what is that thing then? What is the thing you want to do? So, I want you to choose that thing. And now, since your advisor, your God, your Lord, your Savior, your whomever has given you the green light to achieve it, well, you still live on here on earth. You have to make plans to achieve it. So they told you you can do it. They won't allow you to fail, but you still have to go do it. So how will you do that? You can't just sit around and hope that it happens. They... Uh, Faith without works is dead. That means nothing is going to happen. So you have to do the work. So do the work and feel comfort, comfort in the knowledge that your efforts will be successful. So what would you do? What's your step, first step? Your first step is to make the plan. The plan for your action. And that's why I'm saying to you, planning is the most important principle in your life. Anything that you want to achieve in this world requires your efforts. And the beginning of those efforts are the planning stage. So I specifically deal with investment, stock market, real estate, entrepreneurship, however you are going to invest, I help my clients take the steps towards achieving that goal. I, of course, I don't know everything. I don't have to know everything. We, I'm going to help you plan your thing. And so my expertise is in investments. I can help you devise that pathway, that plan in your investment life. And your investments will have uh, 
will be a factor in you achieving those goals, whatever that goal is, that your spiritual person, God, Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and so on and so forth, has told you you can achieve. Well, part of you achieving that will be, there will be a monetary component, meaning you're going to have to pay to along the way. You're going to have to pay to ride. So we're going to plan the trip and we're going to plan out how you're going to pay for the trip. Remember, your God said you can do it. He guaranteed you won't fail, but you have to, you have to take the journey. You don't necessarily have to know which way you're going to go. So understand planning is the most important principle of that journey. If you were going to go, I'm in California. If you can go from California to New York, yeah, I need to be able to pay uh, for my ride. But before I do that, I need to know which, who am I going to pay? What, what method am I going to take to get there? When do I need to get there? It's going to determine what method I'm going to take. Then I need to know the money. I don't even need to know the money yet until I know where I'm going and how I'm going to get there. So often we will put the money in front and that will be the barrier for that prevents us from even getting started. But that is not the most important aspect. The most important aspect is that you make a plan and that you implement that plan. So I'm harping on this. Planning is the most important principle in your life. Anything you've ever achieved, you made a plan. You implemented that plan. You followed that plan. You stuck to that plan and you wound up at your destination. Anything you ever did, prove it to yourself. Prove me wrong. If I'm wrong, prove it. What did you achieve that you didn't plan to do it? You know, things, some good things happen on accident, but those are temporary and, and they weren't even satisfying to you. Those were because you didn't earn it, you didn't plan for it. You get most satisfaction out of something that you put together, a plan you put together, a plan you follow, and you saw it through, and you made it to the, to the finish line. You have victory. That's why I'm telling you, planning is the most important principle of your life. Now, as that relates to your finances, financial planning is what I help my clients with. Financial planning starts first with identifying your goal. And so that's why I says if your spiritual advisor or your, your, your God, your Lord, told you that it's, you're going to achieve it, that's what you need to plan for. Shoot for the top because we need to achieve your goals. We need to have, you need to identify the goal first. So don't have step. What do you really want? And sometimes people say, oh, I, you know, when it comes to finance, their goal is to, to be rich. And they'll say it, you know, in a joking manner. Well, I just want to invest. I want to get rich. But I'm telling you that there is no dollar figure to the word rich. Rich for everyone is different. And rich specifically means achieving every goal that you set for yourself. If you did that, you will be rich. And so if you make it into achieving all of your goals and you say, but I'm not rich, then you didn't plan for all of your goals. Because remember, rich is not a dollar figure. Rich is just achieving everything you want. And there is a pathway to get there and you might have to lift a lot to get there. But remember, if, if you got the green light from up above, then don't worry about that. Just set the plan and achieve it. You've heard of and you know of people who have achieved great things. Well, they didn't do it on accident. They, they made a plan and they followed it diligently. 
And that's what you have to do if you want to achieve your goal. And so first, financial planning starts with setting your goal, identifying your goals. And then we have to put your goals on the time horizon because everyone has more than one goal. Now, it, you won't achieve all those goals at one time, so put them on a time horizon. There's a goal that I, I need to achieve this year, another next year, another in 10 years, another in five years, another, in, I mean, five, then 10, then 15, and 20, then 30, and so on. And in retirement, and then my for my legacy, for those who are coming up behind me. So if you have your goals lined up like that, now we can devise a strategy to achieve them. So the order for financial planning to achieve is identifying the goals, setting those goals on the time horizon, and then we gather data so that we can identify your start point. There is no way to reach any destination if I don't know where I'm currently at. So like I said, if, I'm in, if I wanna to get to New York, well, where am I starting from? Am I in Texas? Am I in California? Or am I in Washington State? All of those are going to require a different direction, different method to get there, a different road, different vehicles, different time horizons. So I need to identify where I'm at. So again, the, the, the order to achieve your goals in financial planning, identify your goals, set your goals on a time horizon. Identify your starting point. So financially, let's gather the data, do the analysis, understand where we're at now, and then we devise a strategy, an investment strategy that is going to enable us to achieve those goals that you identified for yourself. Don't be scary. Identify all your goals, however big they are. I, I don't judge you for them. If they little goals, they little goals. If they big goals, they big goals. Here's how we get there. You, yeah, this might be heavy lifting. The little goals might be little lifting, but you still won't have to lift. So we identify where you are, devise a strategy, and then what? Implement the strategy. Get on the bus. Get on the plane. Drive the car. That is how you start on your journey towards success your journey towards achieving your goals. You have to get on the road and go. Start doing it. And then after we implement the strategy, we have to monitor the plan, monitor the success of our strategy. And so as we do that, you realize you have achieved some of your goals. So as we achieve goals, we start all over. We re-identify, re do we have new goals? We have and, and, even, and achieving some of those goals means we have more resources to achieve the remaining goals. So the process is a cycle. Identify the goal, time horizon to go, where's my starting point, what's the strategy, implement the strategy, monitor the strategy, reset the goals, implement, I mean, excuse, reset the goals, new time horizon for the goals, uh, identify where we at, Implement the strategy, monitor the strategy, re-identify the goals. Keep going, blam, 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 till we get there, till we achieve them all. That's how it works. So planning is the only way that you're going to achieve whatever it is you're trying to achieve. Planning is the most important principle of your life. Just a little bit of info for you. Holler if you need me.